What's up everybody, BMAC the Z Ranger here and I'm calling all Rangers to welcome you to the Rangers Initiative and today on the Ranger Initiative I am going to be reviewing the latest episode of Power Rangers Beast Morphers episode 11 Tools of the Betrayed. Now this episode came out last Saturday, not last Saturday or this previous Saturday that just passed and you know how I do, I drop these videos on Monday like clockwork so let's get right into this review alright. I'm going to try and really shorten this review and get my thoughts a little longer time so let's get right into it hey real quick if you guys didn't watch this episode pause the video and go back and watch the episode and then come back to watch the review all right let's get right into it first off it starts off with Devin and it seems like he's training Zoe and Ravi and they have their blindfolds on and like you have already seen that he's trying to help them develop their beast instincts so it seems like Devin already knows something that maybe Ravi and Zoe don't know about their beast powers, but he's testing them, he's training them, right? And then once they're done, you see Ben and Betty, they come with a package for, for Devin. And what it is is a VR headset, the latest VR technology and everything. But right before he tries it on, they get a call from the commander to go out because they see Blaze and he's trying to do something to the city or whatever. We see that, so Devin's like, here you go, Ben and Betty. Here's my VR set. Please take care of it. Don't let nobody break it or anything like that. But we already know once he left that Ben and Betty was gonna break it. And to be honest, it wasn't really Ben and Betty. It was just Betty. You know, she's the one that was doing all that stuff. Ben was sitting there as a bystander. Oh yeah, and by the way, I wanna say happy belated birthday to Christina Ho. She actually plays Betty. So I wanted to say it last week, but I didn't, and I'm sorry, but I wanna say happy birthday. She's part of the Power Ranger family. I'm part of the Power Ranger family, so I figured, hey, we gotta wish her a happy birthday. If you guys haven't wished her a happy birthday, go and wish her a happy birthday right now. So Ben and Betty break the VR set. That's what they said, but it looks like it was just Betty. Then it goes to Nate and Steel, and they're fighting the Tronics way before Zoe, Ravi and Devin get there and they're fighting the Tronics and Blaze by themselves. You see the other Rangers come and when they come they end up fighting the, the, the Tronics and Blaze. And what happens is you see that Devin uses Cheetah powers and he slashes the Robotron maker which messes up his old plan. So then he leaves, he retreats and then it goes to the scene which I did a reaction to last week and it's right here. So if you want to go to that reaction, check it out right here for this scene that's about to come up. You see Blaze, he's in front of Evox. Evox is pretty upset because you got the Robotron Maker destroyed. And also, you, did get any, you didn't get any Beast Morpher powers. So Roxy sees it, and she sees it as an opportunity for her plan to come through. And when she does, she sees uh, Scrozzle, or in her words, Scrozzy. Scrozzy, the wow. That's, I can't pull it off, but she can. She can pull that off. I don't know how to pull that off. But anyways, so Roxy, she sees Scrozzle rebuilding the Robotron Maker. And when he does rebuild it, you see it come back together using some type of tech, his technology or some type of magic. She sees that she's like, whoa, how do you do that? And can you make a monster to do the opposite effect of that? So he makes a monster for that. Then it goes back to the Rangers and the Rangers are back at their base and they're, Devin's telling the commander that he destroyed the Robotron Maker, which gives them a lot of time to do other things like that, right? But then you see Ben and Betty, they're coming up with the VR headset that's broken and Zoe sees it and she's always like, you know what, hey, I'll take the fall for it because Devin's gonna get really upset, he's not gonna get that upset at me. And then when Devin sees Ben and Betty with Zoe, he's like, hey, where's my, and then he looks at it and he's like, it's broken and Zoe's like, you know what? That's my bad. I did it. She pretty much takes a fall for that. But we're getting back, we're gonna get back to that real soon. Let's let's keep going. So after all the side stuff is happening, uh, it goes to the Rangers with the commander, and Nate he figured out how to locate the Giga drones, even when they're not paying attention. So he builds this device where it can locate Giga drones. But also he tells the Rangers that, you know, we have a few of these devices that we need to set up all over the city. And Devin's like, you know what? Hey, each ranger gets one, and Ben and Betty, you get one, you set and set one all over the city. Each ranger does it, Ben and Betty, they go do it, and you know, it's Ben and Betty. We already know something's gonna happen when they do something. We should already know, I think the rangers should already know that they're gonna mess up something, right? But this time, it wasn't Ben and Betty's fault. They actually did what they supposed to do, but we see Roxy and her monster come, and the monster uses a gun when she shoots out a ray that disassembles anything that it touches, mainly something with machinery in it. So it disassembles that and the Rangers don't notice it. Well, Zoe and Ben and Betty, they don't notice, they don't notice it. So they go back to the headquarters and like, yo, what's going on? Why is it not assembled correctly? You know, you guys can do your job. And he's like, well, yes, we did. We actually did do that. And then it goes back to Devin saying, since you're saying that, I remember you saying that you took the fall for my for my VR set being broken, but you'd have a scratch on you. 
it was actually Ben and Betty. They had a scratch on. So you lied about that. So why would you not lie about this? So Zoe doesn't take that in a good way. She ends up walking off and Jax has to chase that chase after her to basically console her or everything like that. Devin, he's like, you know, what? hey, let's just go get the job done. So when they go there to reassemble the actual the actual device, Roxy and her monster come again. But anyways, to make a long story short, we see the Rangers encountering Roxy and a monster without Zoe. And when they encounter that monster, they see that this weapon can disassemble things like it disassembled their weapons and it disassembled their transporter where they couldn't get any more weapons. So then a monster ends up going away. Well, actually Roxy tells the monster to go away and go get the Yellow Ranger and disassemble her communicator and her morpher. So the monster goes and looks for Zoe. And while that's happening, we see Roxy taking on the Rangers, but you know, hey, it's four against one and they have their beast power. You see Devin uses cheetah speed and right before Ravi uses his gorilla strength, she disappears, she's gone. Okay, so then they try to go and hurry up and warn Zoe about what's happening about this monster. But before the Rangers get there, we already see that Zoe's already kind of in a little mix up with the monster and the monster's already disassembled her morpher. So she can't morph right now. So the monster calls the Tronics to try to get Zoe right to try to get zoe but zoe using her beast ability allowed the monster to record it onto the data chip that was on the monster so now they have the gorilla strength and the leaping ability but we'll get to that later on so after that happens we see the rangers join up with zoe zoe ends up morphing they end up defeating the monster and destroying the weapon that he was using to, dis to disassemble things so it worked out for the rangers but right after that, you know, you know what's gonna happen. They called in the Giga Drone, send it to the city to destroy the city and get the more effects. So now the Rangers have another problem on their hands. So they call up their Zords and they call up the Beast X Mech Zord, but also they call in the Scarab and Manta Zord and they end up forming their Megazord. I forgot what it's called, the Wrecker Megazord. I think that's what it's called. But they informed their Megazord, so now it looks like it's two against one, but that monster ends up splitting apart, so now it's two against two. But like I said before, the Beast X Megazord is undefeated. He's OP, so he handles business. Not only does he handle business, the new Megazord, the Wrecker Megazord, he handles business. So they end up destroying the monster, even though Roxy, Scrozzle, Blaze, Evox, and the Giga Drone lost, but they still gained another Beast ability. So they lost the battle, but they're winning the war at this point because they're getting more and more beast abilities by each episode. So I wonder how that's gonna play out. So then the Rangers end up going back to the diner and you see uh, Devin and, and Zoe and Devin apologizes to Zoe for being too hard on her and not believing her and not believing in their friendship. And also Zoe apologizes to Devin for, you know, for lying pretty much, you know, saying that she did something when really it was Ben and Betty. So that's pretty much the end of the episode. Now, my thoughts on this episode, is this i thought Devin did a good job being a leader in this episode even though yes he had his faults but he clearly learned from them in the episode but i believe he was doing the right thing from the jump it's like he told zoe he's like yo i understand you're trying to cover for him but we're friends just tell her the truth you know the fact that she told him that you know i hit my head and then i broke it and the first thing that came out of Devin's mouth was when you hit your head are you okay i thought that was like that's such a leader thing to do like he was so worried about Zoe then actual his VR headset that he saved up money to get. I understand why Devin got upset because it's real easy to break trust. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, she lied to him one time. So he's like, yo, if you lie to me again, I mean, you lied to me one time, you're probably pretty sure you're gonna lie to me again. I mean, anybody would think that way, but I do think he handled it in a leadership role way. I think he handled it in a really good way throughout the episode. What else? Uh, oh yeah, I don't know if you guys noticed, uh, we got to see some beast bots in this episode because we haven't seen beast bots in a minute now you know we got to see Jax he actually said something and we actually got to see Cruz you know and I was like yo what happened to all these beast bots you know what I'm saying like can we bring them back I guess Steel's taking up all the robot time in the Power Rangers right now because you know we're not seeing any beast bots but I'm glad we got to see Jax and Cruz now we need to see a what was it? oh yeah a smash yeah that's his name can we see smash can we at least see some beast bots with uh still can they interact with each other because they're all just robots even though Steel's half human but still he's, he's still a robot can we have them interact with each other at least one time you know what i'm saying oh yeah roxy the chick playing roxy she is really enjoying herself you know what i'm saying like i don't know if you guys noticed but she is really enjoying herself as roxy just the thing the mannerism she's doing telling people to shut up calling tronics and everything like that don't leave the data chip like all that stuff like that that that's so funny that she does that i can't pull that off so hey i know i look stupid right now she pulls it off great you know she pulls it off really really well 
but Roxy's character is so like competent compared to Blaze's character. Not saying I don't like Blaze, you know what I'm saying? But I do like him, but he really is a hothead, but he's not competent like Roxy is. And all I'm saying for the Beast Morphers, I don't know what's gonna happen. Can y'all bring Blaze up a little bit? Cause I feel like y'all got Roxy up here and Blaze is just down here being stupid. Yeah, yeah, I'm an avatar and everything, but you know, I can't do nothing right. I got the Robotron busted, you know? And like, I'm just saying, you know, can we do a better job with Blaze, you know what I mean? Uh, was I the only one that was excited to see the Ranger the Rangers use their beast uh, beast powers outside of the uniform like Zoe did? Like Zoe did that, I didn't, I didn't know if they could do that and I was like, okay, I'm actually gonna show that because I would love to see, I would love to see Devin use his cheetah speed outside his uniform. I would love to see Robbie use the Gorilla Shrimp outside his uniform the way Zoe did hers, you know what I'm saying? And I. I'm gonna say it again, Zoe, she's by far right now my favorite, not by far, actually Devin's right there. Zoe is my favorite Ranger because she she just balls out in every fight. Like she puts in work, you know what I'm saying? Mad work in her uniform, outside her uniform. But Devin is right there. It would like this episode kind of push Devin up a little bit more in my book as the best Ranger, even because right now it's Zoe, Devin, Steel, Nathan, Robbie. I'm sorry, Robbie. I'm, I'm sorry, man. But yeah, right now it's neck and neck between Zoe to me. To me, it's neck and neck between Zoe and Devin. And this episode, Devin was right here, but now Devin is like right here to me. So yeah, I really enjoyed this episode. I really hope you guys did too, because man, these episodes are getting better and better and better. And we're having so much fun watching them. I hope you guys are having fun watching them because I am. You know what I'm saying? So I really hope you guys enjoyed the review. If you guys did, feel free to like, share, and that button right there. Go ahead and subscribe. Also, you see these videos right over here. Go and click these videos for more power in your content I put out every single week. All right? And remember, greatness is within you. Let's bring it out together. I'm out. Peace. The Ranger Initiative has begun.